Good evening, friends. God bless you. It is with joy that we come into your midst once again to leave with you one or two thoughts that might be of help to you during the coming days. And we want to speak to you tonight about mediumship, about the gifts of the Spirit, about the work which you have come to earth to do and the way in which you should do it. Probably many of you sit in circle from time to time. Perhaps you sit regularly week by week. And it may be that as you sit there, you seem to receive nothing from the world of spirit. And sometimes you are tempted to drop out. And you think, what is the use of my coming week by week? when I never receive anything from the world of spirit. But we want to tell you of the importance of what you are doing. When you gather in your weekly circle, whether you are one of those who do hear or see or feel the things from spirit, or whether you are just sitting, meditating. You are sending out love. You are sending out light. Light that reaches out into the spirit world. When souls pass over from this world into the next, they don't suddenly become saints. You have been taught in your Orthodox churches that though a man's sins be as black, yet if he believes in Jesus, he can be made as white as snow. What a foolish idea. If you have lived a life upon earth full of selfishness, if you have never considered other people, if you have never done your best to give help, how can you expect to suddenly believe in Jesus and become as a saint? Of course, when you come over to our side of life, you come over with the character that you were when you were upon earth. You bring with you the same ideas, the same faults, the same un misunderstandings. And you learn. As you learn while you go through life on the earth plane, so you learn when you come to spirit. But there are numerous souls who, when they get to our side of life, do not realize that they have passed on. Or, if they do know it, then they think that they will just stay in a state of limbo until the last day of judgment. So there are souls wandering on the other side of life, trying to reach back to earth, not understanding why it is that people will not see them or speak to them in some sort of nightmare. And it is those souls that you reach when you sit week by week in your circle. When a group of people get together to think of spirit, then they kindle a light which shines forth onto the other side of life. And sometimes those wandering souls can see that light. They do not see the spirit light. They do not feel the spirit power. But they can see your earth light and coming towards it. Often your guides are able to show them the spirit light and direct them along the way. 
and that is a very important piece of work. Mediumship does not merely consist of, about standing on a platform and speaking. It does not consist in giving messages from the other side of life. It can permeate the whole of your being. Mediumship, which is showing the love of God, showing the love of spirit, showing love to all the people that you meet. When we were here once before, we told you that it didn't matter what particular job you did for spirit, whether you welcomed people at the door, whether you gave out the hymn books, whether you arranged the flowers, played the organ, took the chair, did the washing up, cleaned the church. Whatever it is, it is a form of mediumship showing your love, your love for spirit, your love for your fellow men and women. That is the most important <laughs> thing in your life upon earth, to show that love, to demonstrate it, not just to the people that you feel friendly towards, not just to the kindred spirits whom you meet while you are on the earth plane, but showing love to the awkward customers, to the people who rub you up the wrong way, to those who are so materialistic that they cannot see what you can gain from knowing about spirit those who would ridicule you for going to church, those who would do their best to do you down. There are so many different people upon the earth plane, and your job is, as spiritualists is to look for the spirit within them, to realize that they have God within them in the same way that you have God within you. It may be hidden. It may be overlaid by layers of selfishness, by love of materialism, by greed, by hatred, by envy. But that spark of God is still within every soul upon earth. As you go through life, look for the good in people, not the bad. If you cannot speak good of anyone, then do not say anything. It is so easy for you on the earth plane to repeat things that you hear to someone's disadvantage. The whole time you are trying to improve your material state. There is nothing wrong with that. The things of earth are there for you to partake of, for you to enjoy, for you to use. And there is no harm in trying to make the best of what you have got upon earth. But what is wrong? is when you put material things in the forefront of your lives, when you dismiss the spiritual as being unimportant, when you set your whole mind upon making progress in this world, progress of a material kind. Remember, you are dual personalities. You are a body, a mind, which is of earth, a body that has inherited certain characteristics from your forebears, 
a mind that has been trained from childhood, that has been educated, that is open to every thing that occurs in your world. But you are also a spirit, a soul, an eternal being that's just functioning for a short while in a body of earth. We often liken being upon the earth plane as wearing an overall and being put into a room where there are tools for you to work with, the tools of the circumstances of your lives. And it is up to each one of you to use the circumstances that surround you in order to develop the love of God, the love of spirit, the love of your fellow men and women. At the present time, your earth is not a very pleasant place to live in. As we come down from our side of life, so it is as though we are going through mud to reach you. And yet, all over the world, there are sparks of light. Light that come from your church services, whatever religion a person belongs to, it doesn't matter. What is important is that they live up to what they believe, to what they profess, that they realize that God is beyond everything and that God is in everything. You are Christians because you are born in a country that has Christianity as its religion, or supposed to be, supposed to have Christianity as its religion. But it doesn't matter what colour or creed a man is. If he belongs to a religious organization, if he has any idea of God, whatever form it is, then he is on the pathway of progress. So much that goes on in your world is devoted to materialism, is devoted to making money, to getting a better standard of living, and so on. But if the effort that is put into material progress could be put into spiritual progress, then you would find that a lot of the troubles that beset your world would begin to be lifted. Of course, there are individuals who help, who do what they can. And when a disaster strikes, then people up and down your country, throughout your Western world, will respond. But we don't want just an effort made when there is a big disaster. We want the love which you generate to be sent out the whole time to all those in the third world, to all those souls who do not have your privileges, your opportunities. We want you to realize that love is the most important thing in your world and that love you should have within your souls for all in your world and in the spirit world. So we come back to our first topic. Sit in your circles, sit in your groups, go to your church, send out your thoughts of love to those in the darkness on the other side of life and you will be 
working for God. Better than any medium. Better than any person limited to earth. Remember, you are divine. You have God within you. It is your duty while you are on the earth plane to see that that spark of divinity grows, that it sheds a light, and that light shines out into your world and into ours. Good night, my friends, and God bless you all. God bless you. Thank you.